before Hain is making his submission, right? I want to plead to the entire community, and more especially the leaders that are inside there. Let's have calmness. Let's handle this thing with a positive mind. And let us not send a, 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 a negative signal out there into our community. We have to make a presentation in our community based on what we have heard now here. This morning we came here, the case was dropped, we were in Desiree, we were all, our, our emotions were very high. We have sat and we've talked to the, the senior state prosecutor and he has guided us and he has led us into a direction. So we need to sit and collectively decide where to from now. Anyone from the family wants to say something before we talk? As of right now, <coughs> the lives of Elwin Morris, his wife Chantel, his child, all of us community members that is in the forefront of this thing, our lives are in danger. We are saying our lives are in danger because positively someone has been identified by Chantel Morris and because procedure was not followed correctly by police, that person has subsequently been released out of prison. If anything can happen to any one of the Morris family or community members, it will be on the ticket of the state because the state has now failed us with regards to this. It's the second time in one week that a person is being released out of custody <coughs> because of slobby police work. We are disappointed. In the second place, it is important to note that our anger does not go away. Our anger does not go away. Teger and Morris has for 8.5 kilometer gesleep aan a jagende voertuig. En die persoon wat geidentificeer is, is vry gelaat. Ek wil dit sê en dit op record plaas. Ons voel nog steeds genoeg, is genoeg. Die saak sal nie hier stop nie. Ons vraag die staat om so gauw as moendlik in te greep. Because if they don't do that, they run the risk now. We run the risk of having people, whether it's guilty or not guilty, everybody's now in a dangerous situation. The fact that Mr. Twala was not here this morning and he was released before he could even come to court here is a shame. It is a shame. It would have meant something better if they could have brought him here and he could have been acquitted in a court of law. He could have stood there and they could say in front of him and in front of us, we don't have enough evidence, but they said nothing like that. Because how we are feeling is, Chantel had him identified. No one had seen, behalve Chantel. Chantel had seen the four weapons in her face. She had seen it and the person that had done it is today on the street. We ask our community people, we ask you, Blake Callum, don't do something irresponsible, but be vigilant. Let your eyes be opened as you're walking in the streets of Boxburg and Reicha Park. If something is doesn't look right, report it immediately. We are pleading with the community. I heard people saying we are burning police station. We are not doing that. We are. It's our police station. Yeah. What we can do is assist our police, jack them up yeah. so that they can perform for us. They are there for us yes. and we are there for them. Yes. We need them and they need us. Ons gaan nie die police stasie brand nie. Ons gaan nie die hof uit brand nie. Dis die eerste keer vandag wat ek gesien het. A hoofstas aan klaar. Roep die gemeenskap in. Dis die beste ding wat ek gesien het ooit. Ek wil dankie sê in absentia vir Henk that they ons kon toespreek het as a gemeenskap, ons waardeerde. Die mense wat weggehaard loop het en ons nie die antwoorde gegeer het nie, ons sê vir julle, shame, shame on you. Thank you.
is dropped Drop against the person because of poor police. Work. Because of poor, poor police. police work. Work. What was the issue? It happened that the ID parade they didn't follow the proper procedure, and because of that, the guy was acquitted. Not even in court at the police station. And there's nothing that we can do. It, it can, it can, it can be rearrested. The yes. only thing that we want to ask the Rehapak people, thank you for your support. Yes. Keep on supporting us. Stay behind us. We all pray together. We all know we're praying a loving God. He will come back. Yeah, we will. He will come back. He will be rearrested. Finally. But all that we ask is the justice system, please, doing the job to do yeah. your job properly. Retrain your police to do the job properly. properly. Because the police wasn't trained properly. <laughs> On Monday night, we are going to have a prayer service in Reicha Park, where we are also going to give the community of Reicha Park feedback with regards to what has happened here. Yeah. And we are going to ask that the Department of Justice and that the police, they must attend that meeting so that they can come and tell all of our community what has transpired. Senzo is, is dead. Tigran is dead. And Cuban is dead, is and we are saying Honu. Oh, we are we are so disappointed that the advocate of the NPA didn't find us as a community worthy to come and explain to us. It took the someone of this court to come and explain to us, and it was not even his place to come and tell us. But we thank God for him. Thank you.